I was playing around um, with some manicures I'm interested in doing um, during the fall season. And this polish here from Sally Hansen, which is called Meteorite. This is a silver shimmer. And I have that on my nails right now. Um, it's a bit thinner. Maybe you can see that right here, how thin it is. Uh, so it required about three coats to get opaque. But even then, and it could be the way that I lift my brush up when I'm swiping down the nail. Um, I can kind of see the tip, just the tip of my nail a little bit. But that could be, you know, application problems there. Um, so this one, I feel it comes up a little bit deeper in the bottle. Um, it's a brighter silver, but it, it still looks a little bit deeper in the bottle than it looks on my nails. I feel it pulls a little bit brighter, which is still really pretty because, you know, it kind of depends on what I'm in the mood for. And I bought this polish because I wanted to see um, if I liked it maybe more than my, my Sea Girl polish from Orly. Um, and I don't. <laughs> I adore Sea Girl. Uh, much warmer, as you can see to meteorite and this has a phenomenal formula a couple coats to get opaque my hands are ashy and um because i was <laughs> well the acetone anyways um so this is a great one and so when i applied this one on my nails this is three coats on i was um curious to see how it it would look with a little glitter, maybe make it a little bit more dimensional looking on the nails. And so I brought out this one from Essie. This is from their Lux FX line. And this is called Set in Stones. It's a silver metallic. And I kind of wish I had a, a silver metallic topper that um, leaned a little bit more uh, like deeper, more chartly almost. Um, so I'm going to be on the lookout for something like that because I think that will look really pretty over top of this polish here. Although I do like the dimension that it adds to my nails in different angles, you know, just the glitters reflect differently. And it looks really pretty and it adds a bit of interest to the nail. So because I applied this one, I was like, gosh, this reminds me of an old Revlon polish. And so I went into my my drawer where I have my old Revlon polishes and I didn't even think to to go in that drawer to to pull polishes to mention in my old school favorite polishes for the fall I'll link that video up in the cards somewhere um, but I would have totally mentioned them because these three are amazing <laughs> and I haven't reached for them in a while so um, when I recorded my fall seasonal rack video these were not on there, but I'm gonna put these on my fall seasonal rack to wear them. This one may actually make it into my winter seasonal rack. I don't know. I'm gonna put it on my fall rack, and if I don't get to wear it in the fall, I'll leave it for winter, because this is gorgeous. So anyways, this one reminded me of this polish, and this is called Sequin. And my bottle was probably down to here, so what I did um, just now before recording, and applying it on my nails, I added the nail polish thinner from Beauty Secrets to thin it out because it's <clears throat> it was still applicable, but it's it's a little bit thicker than what I wanted. And then I also added my glitter base coat. This is the suspension base coat. It's meant for glitter polishes, um, but I did add it into this because I didn't want to just add thinner. Uh, I'm not a fan of adding a ton of thinner to polishes because down the line, the more I add the the le the longer it takes to dry and at some point they just the polishes just stop drying for me so i pre prefer to add um a base coat instead so i applied this at one coat now mine could take one coat uh, but i think it was a one coater when i first got it um but it could be because mine was pretty far down it took one coat to get opaque and it's so pretty guys i forgot how pretty the silver is uh, so this polish in particular is not available, but if you have it, you know, this would be a great time to bring it out because it's beautiful. If you're into like uh, silver, silver manicures for the fall and winter, because this will go great well into winter. And then while I was there, I pulled out this 
uh, kind of original ugly pretty color um that i've had forever i think i though bought this one at a big lots many many moons ago this is called enthrall and it's a green but it has a lot of golden tones in it and it's so pretty um i edit one coat on my nails here let's see and it's such a perfect type of green for the fall because it's a little bit murky looking, but still um, dark, but a little vibrant because of the little glistening particles, right? Um, so I brought out Two Fingered Salute. It's not an exact dupe for it. Um, and neither one of these you can find anymore, but um, maybe you didn't get Wallace at some point from Butter London, but you have Enthrall. Enthrall, I think is a great alternative although not as golden tone as Wallace, but still a great option. And um, it just looks so beautiful and so perfect. Gosh, I forgot how good this was. <laughs> it's so pretty. So these, uh, these two are going on my fall rack for sure. And so is this one. This is so beautiful, guys. It's more of a deep evergreen, um, and it has those brighter green um, little shimmers. And this could go Christmas, you know, Christmas and wear it throughout the winter. But I, I think it's so blackened that it's great for the fall as well. And, um, of course, you see a lot of more of the uh, sparkle in the bottle. You do see it on the nails, of course, but it's not as bright um, or like vibrant as it looks in here. But it, my nail is still sparkly. I put these three over top of my old manicure because I was getting ready to take my old manicure off. This is on a trip from Wet n Wild topped over with fairy dust from China Glaze. And so before I take that off, I just put these three on because I didn't want to share them on the nails. They're just so pretty. I love them. So this is kind of like a, a nice trip down memory lane. Definitely going to make some room. Now this fall though, I do want to focus on this one because it is a polish that I haven't actually fully worn as a manicure. This I just wanted to try on my nails, but it's going to come off right now. Um, I'm going to apply, apply something else, but um, it is readily available. This is also a plant-based uh, polish um, from the relatively new line from Sally Hansen. So if you're looking for a silver in this tone, this one's really pretty. It's just a little bit thinner. Just be mindful of that. But I think it still looks really um, beautiful. It's looking here in the camera, just a hair deeper in person. It's a little bit brighter. And I really like brighter silvers. I prefer more for winter. And deeper silvers, um, kind of like this one. I mean, although it looks brighter, you know, but there's a little bit more like a grunge type of look, I guess, I think because the particles are bigger. Um, I prefer these kind of silvers for the fall and, you know, and especially this one. This is like amazing for the fall. It's so pretty. It's just so special. But um, Infinity, Infinite Allure from Orly is uh, not the same. It's more brown leaning, but it is gray, essentially. Uh, that's also a really great option for the fall. I just brought out Sea Girl because I haven't worn it in a while. Um, and I wore Infinite Allure from Orly last year. And so I want to give my Sea Girl um, a little bit of love this year. Because it's been a while since I've brought it out. So it took a whole nine minutes to share all of that. <laughs> um, but anyways, okay, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, kind of impromptu here this Sunday morning, but, uh, you know, whenever I come up with something that and I get really excited about, I really, I can't wait to share it with you guys because, I don't know, these make me super excited and a little nostalgic, really. I hope that you guys are having an awesome Sunday and I will see you guys in the next one.